When Tanner reached out to me and said, hey, this is the story she wants to tell, I was really excited. It's a really, really interesting story that's not well known about characters that are well known. I think anybody would be excited to see this for one, just because it's Washington's story and it's a true story from his journals. And I think everybody knows who George Washington is, so it's really cool to go back to his younger days and see how he became the man that he was for show. As you get into this portion of Washington's life, the origin story of our hero, the founder of our country, there's a lot to be told. It's the character we all know and the stories we don't. And it's God's hand that is so clearly on him in these early stages. We're attacking something that, that means something on a spiritual level, on a historical level. I believe that God handpicked this man and I, and I don't think that that story is out there. For there to be this opportunity to hopefully tell this story well for hopefully a first time audience, showing who is widely considered to be the father of our country as a very different person from how we come to think of him. We are recreating history and we're going to these locations that are very authentic, even down to the, the atmosphere and the elements. It's not just epic, beautiful adventure to see. There's a real story woven all through the characters, the faith and forces that shaped him, and to the redemptive qualities of the story that truly happened. This is all true. So really what I would like to see happen through this film is for people to see that, that God has a purpose for everyone. He will direct your path in order to get you to that place. When you're talking about the beginning of our country and men that built this country, it's important to look at last week, it's important to look at last year, 10 years ago, what can happen in one's life, how God can move. To be able to put a finger on history and connect to it in a new and real way.